Well, welcome. My name's Graham Jerry, and I'm an affiliate marketer. I sell products online. And today's video is about how to make a website for free with Groove Pages. Now, you'll want to watch this till the end because I'm going to show you how you can actually get access to um, this software. So, today, as I said, we're going to look at how to make a website for free using Groove Pages. Okay, so we're logged into Groove Funnels, the app, and we need to go to Groove Pages. Now I'm using the free version, which you get access to three sites for free. So we go over here, and you'll see the red button here, which says New Site, but above that, three lines. Now, whatever you've decided to call your first. So once you've done that, then you go to the three, start building. It's been a while since I've done this. So start building, it's just loading. And up here beside the publish bar, the same three um, lines, you'll need to go to site settings. Now, whatever you want to call your um, website, it might be um, how to make money online, whatever it is, you put it in there. And you can use a favicom as well. And that's just a little logo like GrooveFunnels has got up here. Um, you can go and make one of them at a free website called Canva. Otherwise, if you don't make one up, it will take something off your website. All right, so, and there's some other things here. You can, if you're going to use tracking code from um, Google Analytics, or if you're going to use any um, Facebook Pixel, you can put that along here. So we just go over here and we're going to start with some blocks. Now there are some free pages you can use, but we're uh, free setups. What, what we're going to do, you've got design blocks here, all these things here, and we're going to go to wireframes for a start. Okay, so now that we're in wireframes, we go down here to covers. And we're just going to pull the first one of those across here. And there is our headline for a start. Okay, so that gives us a heading, a heading and a subheadline. So the next thing where we want to do is bring a video across. And to do that we go in here to elements, go down. Come to videos, I'm going to drag across for the moment. I'm just going to say YouTube video. So that's a, a placeholder. So we're, we're setting up a video sales letter here. Now the next thing we're going to need is a button. So we'll just go across here. And we're going to, you've got a choice here. We're just going to drag down solid button. And release that there okay so we've dragged the solid button down there now the next thing we're going to want underneath that is a container okay as I said now the next thing we need is a container and that will we'll use for the terms of service policy and disclaimer then we're just going to go here to text and we're going to put each of these in the middle one in the middle as well all right so we also chosen layout now we'll want to go choose these ones both second from the left okay so what we do next is we come over here and we're after a button Oops. and we'll take the link text drag that into there and again and again so now all we do we click on that link there 
we come across here to the right hand side of the page click on configure and where it says tech li text, text link we're going to say copyright and then the next one oops I didn't save it I can see that copy and as you just saw don't forget to update it this one here you can have more than three if you want uh, it depends on your terms terms of service and the other one here I don't know why that's down there I'll move it disclaimer this software is still in beta and sometimes things move uh, I can go in there in a moment and work out what's going on there okay so I'm not sure what happened there but I'll, I've just gone into spacing so I've clicked up here and as you can see I can just move it up like that and then click out of it still needs to go up a little bit higher facing up there again okay okay so now you can click on e any of these or all of them one by one so we need to then link to where we keep our document for copyright our terms of service and disclaimers so over here we go to configure on the right hand side we can click down to none page a block a url or you can do a pop-up so if it was to be a um, url you just update it likewise here i'm not going to do that so url and you just update it and that the then is hyperlinked okay so next we want to edit our button you click on the button and you can see over here on the right hand side you've got a choice of design or configure if we go to design now we want to change the text on our button or text size also it'll be in the middle change the background color let's go with an orangey color and some transparency you can play around with that here now we might round off the corners as you can see gives a round round corners on our box and the next thing we want to do obviously is change the text in the button so we go over here to configure you can see there it says button um, click here now to get your copy that's our call to action and here we can link the button to um, a page again pop up and we'll do that after we'll probably do it to a pop up so we're just going to update that as you can see now we want to go down again and just bring this down a little so we're just going to go down here to spacing so we can move this away from the bottom of the video so let's go here and here and you can see we move everything down trial and error but that looks about okay there now the next thing we want to do is you can see the video is almost full width so we want to we can just go over here we click on sizing width and we can just drag it down minimize it
like so. And the other way is here that you, on the sizing, on the drop down, here you can use that, and I think I went with 50. Now we want to alter the headline where it says headline. So I'm just going to, all you do is, I, whoops, go back again. And this is relevant to whatever you're doing. Obviously, get your copy of this amazing software. And, you know, you can resize that. And you can, you don't have to use the subhead here. Um, not going to so I'm just going to click on that and delete it and then up here we can resize the text you can change the color of it over again on the right hand side you can center it most of the time it would be centered so when you highlight this to change the color, you could bold it, you'd underline it, you probably wouldn't underline it, and then you can choose from these the what color you like. I think that gives it a, a slight behind it. Uh, okay, so that's changed your title, and obviously the video you've got, you would change your video link. So this is how you make a website with Groove Pages for free. Now, we still haven't quite finished, but and you can change these around, change a lot of this around. Now the button, we need to connect that. So what we do here, we click on the button, we go across here to our menu on the left hand side and we click pop-ups. We're going to create a new pop-up. And we're just going to choose one of the templates here and I'm only going to you know you've got an option of um, you know, name and email we're just going to choose email and then you can just edit this and you might put something like where where can I send where can I send your free software I don't know it depends what what it is that you're marketing you will put that here yourself and again you can either leave this here or get rid of it I might put uh, please add a um, what's the word please add your email email below and you can uppercase it lowercase it whatever you want to do and you want to change the words on the button as well click on that we configure button text click click here now And don't forget to update and you can go back over here to design you can change the background color you can change the text size all that so you can change the color again to a blue change the text to white uh, to black if you want to Except I changed the background. So play around with it. Um, you can alter the sizing of that as well. You don't want it too big. Mm. 
relative to the page. Whoops, that doesn't work. Back to where it was. Okay. All right, we just now need to update that. Okay, so now we just need to save and exit. Now we just wanted to save that before we lost it. You know, just up, keep it updated. Good idea. So you would obviously have your own video that you're going to put in there. So you click on the video, you come across here, and you'll see under the configure on the right hand side, from design to configure, you would just put the video ID, if you, in this case, the YouTube video, and then update it again. Now, there's just one other step we need to do. Um, if you're going to use MailChimp, which is free, whichever autoresponder service that you're going to use. So we need to, I got logged out, so I've had to come and log back in again. So you go over here to My Integrations, Add Integration, Integration Type, and you would just choose from any of these. You could say MailChimp. What you need to do is go to MailChimp and get your API key, which you had added in there, add integration, and then you go back to your um, to your opt-in page, your sales page. So you would now just exit out of here, go back to your page that you've created. I'm not going to add a, a, a uh, API key tonight. Open your editor, go to your pop-up, And when you come over here to configure, um, you'll have more stuff down here, more menus down here, and you, you will be able. To, um, it'll you'll choose from the drop downs, um, choose whichever autoresponder service you've um, entered with the API key. If you use Mailchimp, I think you get up to two and a half thousand leads for free before they start charging you. Then, then after after you put that in, you'll be able to put in a link to where people are directed to after they've put in their email address, and that might be to an affiliate offer. It could be to wherever you want. All right, how to create a website with Groove Pages for free has been of use to you. Now, I said if you waited to the end, I would show you how you could get get access to Groove Pages for free. Um, as you can see, I was using a free, my free account as well as my other account. I have the free account, which will give you three um, complete sites, which is multiple pages, opt-ins, video squeeze, everything. You want to have a look um, for a limited time. They're giving you free access. No credit card required. Um, you can sign up, no upsell or anything. They've done this. It's new software. It's still in beta. They're still updating it. Um, but it, it looks like, you know, they've had over 100,000 people um, join in the last few months. And, you know, it's pretty amazing software. So if you're interested in getting it, there's a link in the description. Have a look there. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, uh, hit the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand side of the video and give us a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below and... No, I always answer the questions personally. I'll get back to you. So, all right, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I've got to go and feed the dog.